Okay, this is going to be quite a pointless video actually, but uh, it's just something I quickly want to show you. Uh, in Windows 7, uh, first of all, you want to go to your control panel. Uh, well, yes, you will need to go there eventually. But uh, actually, what I'm going to do first is um, open the uh, command prompt by uh, running it very quickly using the Windows button and R pressed together. And as it says, it's already there. Let's delete that and it is CMD. Well, you can type dot exe in the end, but it is necessary. But that's what it is, CMD dot exe. Um, if I was to type here something that uh, I would never need to use in Windows 7, if I was to type telnet, I hope we told it doesn't work. As in, it doesn't exist. This isn't actually the case, but um, it was decided to, by Microsoft to uh, disable Telnet, um, and I think that they did it in Vista as well, um, to disable it <coughs> by default because it was deemed insecure, which it is, because it uh, doesn't got the security um, that, uh, that other protocols, uh, so even FTP, you can uh, use SSL encryption with that, but uh, Telnet is quite an insecure protocol for communication. Um, so that's the whole point of needing a uh, control panel now. I can go to, uh, what you need to do is go to programs then you need to go to turn the windows features on or off. And I say this is quite pointless, you'll never really need to do it but uh, there's just something I want to show you. Internet, which you probably may or may not have seen, I really don't know. So it's the Telnet client you want, you don't want the server because that allows people to connect to you. You just want the client so you can connect to, you can connect to servers but servers can't connect to you. Okay, that should be uh, enabled now. I'm going to press the up, uh, arrow key, for the latest type command. It's only a short five letter command but it could, could have been quite a long one. Um, then if I remember correctly, you type O for open, and you type the name of the server, which if memory serves, was something like this. You might know what it is as soon as you see us typing this. It's towel.blinkenlights.nl.netherlands. Hit enter. And uh, as I say, this is quite pointless. It serves no productive purpose, but... Uh, just just the thing what people have often called a um, an Easter egg within Windows. It actually isn't because it isn't within Windows. Telnet is, but this is actually on a remote site using the internet. And if you can't tell what it is yet, you probably can now. It's uh, an ASCII version of, the, of uh, Episode Four: New Hope of Star Wars. Um, completely made in ASCII characters. There's no sound to it. I don't know how exactly how long it runs. I've never had the patience to watch more than about five minutes of it. But uh, because it gets rather, it's very clever how they've done it. I appreciate uh, the time, that, the time and effort that's gone into it. But uh, I don't really like watching uh, ASCII characters uh, for too long, as I'm sure a lot of you will might agree with us. But yeah, that's basically all it is, but uh, within XP it was, uh, you could um, connect to it by default, but within Windows 7 you can't, so you have to manually enable it. <coughs> and uh, as it turns out, I'm going to actually manually disable this now, so I'll just close that down while uh, C3PO and not do data or talking. Um, I'm going to go back to turn Windows features on or off. Once this loads, I'm going to scroll back down to uh, tell my client and check the box and click OK. So disable this. Now, if I go back into command prompt again, pressing Windows and R and hit cmd.exe, I have to retype Telnet since I closed the shell. I'm told I'm no longer able to use it. If I was to go back and do the what I did just there and, uh, and this thing here, it would work. But I have no real practical use for it apart from watching ASCII Star Wars, but I'm sure I could do that elsewhere uh, using the HTTP protocol. 
instead of telling that but uh, yeah anyway that's about it uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope you sort of enjoyed it and I hope uh, you might enjoy watching that ski Star Wars more than I did okay thanks for watching